Welcome to the spoken tutorial on simulation and compilation in LD Micro. In this tutorial, we will learn how to simulate a ladder diagram and compile a ladder diagram in LD Micro. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 18.04 operating system LD Micro. To follow this tutorial, you should know how to create a ladder diagram in LD Micro. If not, please refer to the relevant tutorials in this series on this website. First, we will know about LD Micro Simulator. LD Micro has an inbuilt simulator. It helps us to verify ladder diagram before experimenting on the actual hardware. It reduces the hardware damage due to improper code. Now, we will see how to simulate a ladder diagram. We will use the ladder diagram file sample.ld which we created earlier. The file sample.ld is available in the code files link of this tutorial. Please download and use them while practicing. Let us open LD Micro. In the menu bar, click on File and then Open. Select the sample.ld file from the location where you have saved. Now, in the menu bar, click on Simulate then on Simulation Mode. In the Simulation Mode, the whole ladder diagram changes to grey. The cursor also disappears. We can't place an instruction in the simulation mode. The instructions that are energized appear in bright red color. The instructions that are not energized appear in gray color. Here, the LED2 is energized as it is directly connected to the positive rail. The LED1 is not energized. This is because there is a switch in between positive rail and LED1. For LED1 to be energized, switch should be on. That is, it should be given value 1. We can change the state of the inputs in two ways. Double click on the list that appears at the bottom of the screen. We can see that the state changes to 1. Otherwise, double click on appropriate instruction in the ladder diagram. Note that LED1 isn't energized even after changing the state of the switch. This is because the change will not be reflected until the PLC cycles. For the changes to be reflected, choose either one of the following options. First, simulate start real time simulation or single cycle option. If you choose single cycle option, the PLC cycles only for one time. Select single cycle. Now we can observe that the first rung is energized. That is, LED1 is glowing. Now again change the state of the switch from 1 to 0. We can see that the LED1 is still glowing even after the switch is off. It means that input changes are not reflected. Therefore, we need to choose single cycle every time we change the input state. Use the single cycle option when you want to debug the program step by step. But this is not the case with real time simulation. In the menu bar, select simulate. Start real-time simulation. Change the state of the switch from 0 to 1. We can observe that the state of the LED1 changes to 1 immediately. Thus, the outputs get auto-updated according to the input changes. We can halt simulation by clicking on Simulate Halt Simulation. Then, click on Simulate and on Simulation Mode one more time. This will turn off the simulation mode. Next, we will see the effects of cycle time on ladder diagram. The cycle time of a PLC 
is the time taken from reading the input states, executing the program, and updating the output. Now we will see the effect of cycle time in LD Micro. Switch back to LD Micro. In the menu bar, click on Settings. Then click on MCU Parameters. By default, the cycle time is set to 10 milliseconds. Change it to 5 seconds. That is 5000 milliseconds. Then click on the OK button in the top right of the window. Now start real time simulation as shown. Change the state of the switch to 1. You can observe that the LED1 doesn't change its state immediately. Instead, it takes up to 5 seconds to get its state updated. Turn off the simulation mode as shown. Next, we will see how to compile a ladder diagram. Before compiling, we need to check the following. Selection of proper microcontroller. Setting microcontroller parameters. Assigning ports to input-output instruction. Switch back to LD Micro interface. First, we have to select the path number of the microcontroller. In the menu bar, click on Settings, Microcontroller. Here, you can observe the list of supported microcontrollers by LD Micro. I am using Atmel AVR Atmega 16 40 PDIP. So, I will select Atmel AVR Atmega 16 40 PDIP. If you are using a different microcontroller, select accordingly from the menu. Because different microcontrollers have different hex files for the same program. Now, click on Settings, MCU Parameters. PLC configuration pop-up window appears. Here, you can set different parameters. Change the cycle time value to 10 milliseconds. 10 milliseconds is a good value for most of the applications. Next is crystal frequency. We have attached a 16 MHz external crystal in the open PLC hardware. So, set crystal frequency to 16 if you are using the same hardware. Always set proper values, otherwise it may cause communication and timers to behave inappropriately. Next is UART baud rate. By default, it is in disabled state. It will be enabled only when you are using any of the serial instructions. We will learn about this in detail when we use serial instructions. After setting the microcontroller parameters properly, click on the OK button. We should change the default names of the instructions before compiling the logic. Please remember this whenever you compile the logic. We have changed the default names for this ladder diagram in the earlier tutorial. Now, we must assign input output pin to each input output instruction because different input output assignment generates different FX files. To do so, double click on X switch in the IO list. A pop up window opens showing the unallocated pins. Just select a pin accordingly. I will select PA7 which is the 7th pin of port A. Then click on the OK button. Similarly, double click on Y LED 1 and assign PC0 as shown. Then double click on Y LED 2 and assign PC1. We have assigned input output pin to each input output instruction. Now let us compile. In the menu bar, click on Compile, then on Compile. Save pop-up window appears. 
I will save it in the folder LD Micro on desktop with the same name sample.hex. We will get a pop-up window which shows compile successful. Click on the OK button. If you want to save it under other name, choose Compile, Compile As. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learn to simulate a ladder diagram and compile a ladder diagram in LD Micro. As an assignment, change the cycle time to 3 seconds and then to 10 seconds. Observe the changes in simulation time. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Do you have any general or technical questions on OpenPLC? Please visit the FOSSE forum and post your question. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This tutorial has been contributed by FOSSE and Spoken Tutorial Project, IIT Bombay. And this is Harsha Priyanka from FOSSE team signing off. Thanks for watching.